Hey guys, I'm John from JohnLaGuardia.com. Thanks for joining me here on Unbox the Outdoors. If you remember last time, we took a look at the Flipside Dual Chamber Water Bottle. Uh, this is uh, an adventure bottle that can go with you just about anywhere. I did like this. We took it out on the field and um, just went on a quick photography shoot up in the mountains this morning. And uh, so I'm here to tell you just a little bit about my first impressions of this thing. But first, uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and walk through some of the specs. I've got my cheat sheet here, so we're just going to walk through those real quick. This is a 20 ounce outer and 7 ounce inner, so dual chamber, right? Uh, 7 ounce and of course the 20 ounce when this is inside of it, right? So a total of 27 ounces for a total capacity. It is heavy duty stainless steel, you kind of heard that in the video. Uh, it's vacuum insulated. Uh, outer chamber keeps things cold or hot. Uh, today I tested this with just cold water and then in the other chamber I just put a little bit of trail mix in there and some things to take with me to eat. So um, let's see what else we've got here. It is BPA free and it's got a durable silicone band around it to provide you know some good grip to it. You know you can throw it around a little bit and uh, it just fits nice in the hand. That's one of the things that I really liked about it. The nice wide mouth is easy to drink from as well. And then it's got these flat lids on it uh, that just allow you to set it down on a flat surface pretty easily. So, um, From my impression of using this, it, it's a very nice water bottle. I liked it a lot. but just want to provide some additional feedback uh, to Flipside through this video. Um, some things that I think I would improve on in the next iteration of this bottle is um, this surface, this uh, white, they call this the Stormtrooper white, um, but this surface could really be uh, a little bit better. Like, you know, just using it for a couple hours today, um, setting it down on some rocks, you know, moving it around a little bit. I didn't drop it at all. Um, but it did tip over once and uh, just kind of hit a rock so it dented right there. Um, I know that that kind of thing is going to happen, but it just seemed to be a little fragile, if you will. Um, for an adventure bottle, I would think it would be a lot more durable. Um, it's got some scratches just from you know a couple of hours out in the field, and I would expect uh, a bottle like this to not really to be more scratch resistant and not really scratch quite as easily as it did. Um, so one of my recommendations would be to use a, some kind of powder coating on here. I think that would be a little bit better to get the color on here. Um, the other thing about it uh, that I wasn't crazy about is this black band. Although it feels good in the hand, um, it just slides and moves really easily. So, you know, as I was taking pictures of this bottle, like this thing would be slid down and I'd take a picture of it and it would just drive me nuts because I was constantly fixing this thing. And I'm not really rough on my outdoor gear, uh, but I felt like this this thing was just a little bit on the flimsy side for being a, a, a rugged outdoor bottle, right? So, um, one thing that I did really love about it is when I got it home, it was super easy to clean, super super easy, and uh, these lids were just easy to take on and off. They're super light. Uh, but again, they use like a kind of a soft plastic. This got pretty chewed up there, um, and also pretty scratched up on that side too. So um, overall, I think I would give this uh, a couple thumbs up. Uh, I would buy one of these. I think the suggested retail on it is $34.99. So um, I highly recommend this bottle. Uh, I don't think that um, it's bad by any means, but I do think there is a lot of room for improvement in the next iteration of this bottle. Thank you very much. Um, if you want to take a look at these bottles yourself on their website, it is uh, flpsde.com. Um, so that's the name of the company. That's where you can find them online. Also check out my review on outdoorproject.com where you'll see some additional information and some additional photos as well. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Unbox the Outdoors.